Good afternoon everybody from your National Weather Service forecast office in Fort Worth. Uh, here is a video briefing for the upcoming light snow potential which is going to get everybody's attention but really the main story for the next couple of days is going to be the cold temperatures to go along with that light snow. Very little impacts are really expected from this light snow system. Now light snow is possible starting after midnight tonight most likely really between about 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. is when it's going to start. Flurries are possible throughout the day, pretty much all day on Friday. The cold temperatures have returned and being reinforced right now. And it will be much colder tomorrow and tomorrow night than it has been all of today. And it's pretty chilly out there right now on Thursday. And this is not a win major winter storm. And north and central Texas will experience a warm-up over the weekend. Now starting tonight, mainly after midnight, we're only talking about a 20% chance of light snow and this is mainly along the Red River counties. So Paris, Sherman, Bowie, even over toward Alney, a chance of snow tonight. Very light accumulations, if any, are really possible. The light snow uh, will continue on Friday and most of the impacts are really ex being expected to the north of this little pink line and that's from around Bowie down to around Sulphur Springs. To the north of that there's a possibility but not a guarantee of slick bridges and overpasses possible. The rest of us some sn snow or some flurries but the impacts are not really anticipated. What we all will feel however are the very cold wind chills. Wind chill factor should drop down to about 10 in Gainesville, single digits in Bowie, 12 in DFW, about 16 in Waco and Temple, Lampas is Colleen, and that should be around 11 to 13. So those north winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour with some higher gusts are going to cause a little bit more in the way of problems. Well, thanks for watching this. Just remember light snow is possible, but cold temperatures are going to be the main impact from this storm system. Just continue to watch our website plus our social media for any changes or refinements to this forecast. And if you have any questions or comments, let us know, sr-fwd.webmaster at noaa.gov.